Hi, thank you for joining me today. My name is Teresa Crawley. I'm coming to you from TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Today I'm going to be showing you a brand new 2023 Winnebago Navion. This is the 24 V as in Victor floor plan. It's a little bit different than some of the other ones and it has some special um, things that make it better for certain people. Um, and I'll show you those as we go inside. Right now we're gonna start with the outside and we have this beautiful full body paint. It's mineral, that's the name that Winnebago has given it. It's kind of a goldy taupe color. This is a super dark chocolate brown with little flecks in it and a beautiful white. Um, why, why full body paint over the decals? Decals fade, peel, crack over time. So this is gonna keep your uh, value of your coach higher if you ever wanted to resell it. It's going to make it look sharper um, for the whole life of the coach. So it's really nice to have that upgrade. Um, we have an automatic awning here. Push one button and it comes right out. The wind picks up, it will go back in. We also have a really pretty LED light strip under there. Um, it makes a really nice evening time place to sit, have a meal and hang out with your family. Um, just showing you some of the storage compartments here. I love that Winnebago does these in a rubber or plastic material, so you can rinse them out and drain them easily. They have a little port to do that, to rinse them out and drain them. We do have our propane generator running right now. This is an Onan Propane 3600. And that's going to run off your propane tank, which is 12 gallons. When we go inside, you're barely going to hear that, but I have it running because of the air conditioner. It's pretty warm here in Colorado today. So um, just for the comfort of our camera crew, we have that running. But it is good for you, the customer, to be able to hear what that sounds like running and not running. Um, we also have a quick connect for propane here. And what that does is if you have a little barbecue grill, you can just quickly plug that in and be ready to go for some grilling. We have another really nice uh, plastic storage bin here. And then I'm gonna close that so we can see the one above it. This is your under your bed storage. So we have access from two different places here. I'll show you the back access. But that's one way to get in, and that can get some of your longer objects in there. Here's that other access. It's really a smart space. Winnebago does a great job of getting every last drop of storage space out for you. They make a lot of their own components so that they can fit to the very, very most they can. Um, we have a 5,000 pound towing hitch here. Of course, a ladder to get up and see if you have any debris or anything is up there on your roof that needs to be taken care of as far as ceiling and things like that. We have all LED lights, exterior and interior. Something that uh, the Navion has added in recent times is the Truma AquaGo system. That's a tankless water heater and what a world of difference over a six gallon water heater. You and your uh, traveling companion don't have to take turns and wait an hour in between showers. You can go one right after the other. As much water you have, it can be hot for you. So really nice feature there. Then we have your water bay and your plug-in area there, taking up a very small amount of space. That's also where you're going to dump your gray water and we have a water flush, sanitize, and drain, or this is where we'd put our, our drinkable water in, but we do have a flush um, for our black and gray tanks. So that just keeps it smelling a lot fresher. That's actually where the flush is right there. Over here, we just have a tank that we can dump there. That's gonna be where you're gonna dump your black water. And Winnebago also does a really good job of keeping those water tanks in places that you can keep them warmer if it's winter time. There is that propane tank I was telling you that holds 12 gallons. And 
these bins are really easy to close. Beautiful front end, of course. I think we're ready to go inside, though. All right. Right here at the entrance, there's a couple things to point out. We have a chassis disconnect right here. That's gonna save your engine battery um, if you're sitting for a long period of time. This used to be located under the driver uh, gas pedal and it was really difficult to reach, hard to get to, to turn off and on. Um, and your batteries would die because you would forget to do it. Um, but this is really conveniently located right by the door here. And then we also have your coach battery on and off for the same reason. You, you wanna turn all the lights off as you're leaving the coach, you just hit off and it'll, it'll do that for you. Your awning in and out, I'm just going to hit in and it's going to go right back in for me. And I might as well turn the lights off while I'm at it because we're not going to be out in the dark right now. The other thing, this is newer to the Navions, not brand new, but we have this really great um, leveling system here. People had asked for that for years on Navions. Sometimes they would have to take them to an aftermarket company to put the levelers on, but they've started um, adding that as an option. So you can do that with your, um, your Apple or Android or Bluetooth device. Um, you can uh, automatically level. So how that works is you just push power, auto level, and then it'll do it. You'll know when it's done because it'll stop moving and making noise. But then when it's time to hit the road, you just hit all retract and they'll all go right back up for you. So super handy, you're not the outside um, trying to get on blocks or trying to get to the perfectly level spot. This does it for you. That's also gonna help when you're walking around the coach um, for it not to be like a boat going back and forth. So I'm so happy that they added this. Um, one more thing before I let you come in, I wanted you to see there's a screen door integrated here. So you don't have an extra door that's gonna be slamming as you go in and out. Um, but it just tucks away really nicely. So come on in. I've talked about many times before, the Navion is probably my favorite unit that we sell here. Um, it's not too fancy, it's not hard to learn, so it's great for beginners. It's also great for people who've been motorhoming for a long time. It has all the niceties that you really need. Um, and it can sleep a lot of people in this really small space. So I'm a big fan. I have kids at home still, so I always think, well, where are the boys gonna go? So here's where the boys are gonna go. So up here, we have this great bunk over the driver. Um, has this ladder that of course attaches to the wall here. But the great thing about this bunk is it doesn't just give your kids a nice cozy space with a curtain that closes off, but when they're not with you, that flips away so easily. That was no strain on my back or my arms. It was really easy to do. And why that's such a great thing is when you're driving, you don't feel like you have something over you because you don't. So you flipped it up and you've got all this light above you. It just is a lot less claustrophobic of a feel, a lot less class C of a feel. Um, then of course we have an exhaust fan here. These are incredibly helpful in um, these units, they suck the heat out very quickly. Also, if you happen to be cooking and there's um, smoke or something like that, it'll suck that out really quickly too. So small space, that is really helpful. Um, we also do have, as I said before, the generator running. And right now the air conditioner is running as well. So you can hear what that sounds like in here. It's not overbearing. You can still have a conversation and um, be comfortable in here some units the air conditioners are so loud you literally cannot talk to one another and that kind of ruins the whole experience of being together <laughs> so because this is a 24 V the living room is a little shorter and I'll show you the benefit of that um, as we get to the back but this is gonna fold out and make a full size sleeper now like I said I would put my people up there if I had visitors but this literally can sleep six or even seven people um, as we get to the back, I'll show you that. Um, you may have noticed these little silver rings on the floor. 
those are to put a table in. You can turn these chairs around and put your table here, or you can put the table there, and I'll show you the table as we go back too, but I figured you could use your imagination with the pole and then putting the table on top. This is some storage for your living area, and you'll see a lot of this going through the coach. They didn't finish off the dividers, which I think is great because then if you have long items, you can put them through there. But it also, if you don't have long items, they're not going to be um, flying around. So it's kind of a good compromise of both things. Another thing I wanted to point out is this has the dual pane acrylic windows. I really like these because you can stop them at any angle. So if I just want a little bit of air, I go there. If I want a lot of air, I can get it to go way, way up like that. And then we have an integrated screen or full darkening shades that are also integrated. So really smart design. Um, this is also going to keep this coach insulated better than a glass window would. And then we have little lights here and USB ports above you so you can do all of your fun electronics sitting here you can probably see there are seat belts here as well so you can have passengers uh, safely gaming away on their devices um, in these two seat belts here and then we have plug on plug in excuse me down here next to your carbon monoxide monitor and then directly opposite we have our TV and upgraded entertainment system. And what that entails is this sound bar. So they all are gonna come with the TV. This, excuse me, the sound bar is an added feature some people want. Um, behind here, we have a Blu-ray player and a paper towel holder and a little bit of storage. So kind of a clever little area. Huge, bright kitchen window, which I love right now. I'm going to close it because it's kind of warm. We have a double sink stainless steel here and a nice sprayer that pulls out. On the other side of these covers we have bamboo which can be used as a cutting board. So very clever. They fit back in so when you're driving they're not going to be flying around. <clears throat> Underneath really nice storage place and all of these cabinets you'll see these little buttons those are locks so when it's time for traveling you just put those in and you don't have to worry about things flying out I've heard stories of pickles coming out of the refrigerator and all kinds of other things from people who didn't secure their stuff properly so as fun as a good story is probably better not to have to wash pickles off your floor so I'll just warn you ahead of time another thing that Winnebago has been doing lately which is so clever is they're getting an induction cooktop which is all electric as well as a propane burner so you have options here you can do both at the same time um, if you're out in the middle of nowhere you don't want to use any of your power you just go ahead and use that propane um, this is a splash guard to keep anything coming from here to from melting cabinet uh, the cabinet finishes um, so that's what that is if you're wondering and then we have a convection microwave um, you can bake in a convection microwave I'm gonna say that's gonna be a really really tiny cake that you're gonna bake in there <laughs> it's like an easy bake oven but still you've got it um, over here we have your freezer and refrigerator and this is deeper than it looks from the outside. I can put most of my, you know, more than half of my arm through the back there. Um, it also goes down a little bit, so it's deeper than it looks. And this is propane and electric as well. And then here's your refrigerator for all those pickles that you want to fly around. Down here, we have, of course, some really deep, nice drawers. And so, great design. So this is what makes the V the V. This is the, um, the rear 
twin bed configuration that becomes a king size bed. Um, we'll get started here with this hanging closet. Now that is the pole I was telling you about and the tabletop. And it's simply, you put the tabletop into the pole, the pole goes in the hole, and then you've got a really sturdy, nice table you can play cards at or eat, and a nice hanging wardrobe in here as well. You also see there's some fabric down here. That's a curtain to divide this room from the living room, just for a little bit of privacy for the adults. And those hook in right here and here. Now back here in the bedroom, you'll see there are two twin beds on either side. They're pretty comfortable. They have a little frilly spring system here. And there's storage underneath either side. So you've got a nice little drawer here and on this side as well. But what makes this so clever is, so say you're two adults that don't want to know the other person's there when you're sleeping. You don't want to know if they're getting up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, or you're not married, you're two hunting buddies that don't want to sleep together. This is a great alternative to all the beds that are a little bit cozier on the Naviance. So this one gives you a little bit of separation, um, but it also becomes a really huge bed. When you pull out this middle piece here, that's just integrated there, and then you just pull down this cushion, that's a huge bed. That is a king size bed. I always think when I see this, um, the 24B floor plan, I always think that's a great place for my dog to sleep in the middle. Of course, I have a St. Bernard. He wouldn't be up on the cushions, he'd be down on the floor, but he would definitely fit here and know that he's with mom and dad. So also another alternative for this floor plan. Um, in this bedroom, we of course have those dual pane windows that you can put at different stages with the screen and the darkening. And then lots of deep, deep storage up here. And we'll just go around and I'll just show you all the spaces. I also like that there's a little step here in between the bed so I can act actually get to this a lot easier. Um, a lot of things in motorhomes, I think tall people must design everything because I can't reach most of it, like the top of the freezer, but this one I definitely can. One more little storage area over here that you can make a hanging or you can make it into shelves, however, works better for you. Then we do have a TV in the bedroom. We've got these really great little reading lights. And they're blue lights, so they're not going to interrupt your partner, whoever's sleeping with you. And then we have USBs, plug-ins, and these really clever little storage baskets up here. So I would think you would put an alarm clock, a phone, your sleep apnea machine, something like that in that little basket, and then it's just really handy for you. When you're not using it, it just clicks away and it's out of your way. This is, of course, your emergency exit, and it has a different kind of um, darkening shade, but this whole room is gonna get really dark when you have all of these blinds utilized. So, next is the bathroom. And this is an all-in-one bathroom. On the back of the door, they put places to hang your towels, which I think is so smart. Every little bit of organizing help in the small of a unit is really helpful. And just so you know, this unit is 25 and a half feet long. Um, so it can fit into an extended cab pickup truck space um, as far as length. Um, it's less than eight feet wide. Um, so really great size to be able to have enough room for six or seven people, but also be able to park it in um, the grocery store parking lot. Um, over here, we have your shower. We've got a detachable shower head here, so you can get the top of your head or get your feet. This, of course, pops out. It's just for hanging clothes if you needed to dry off your swimsuits or something like that. 
and then we have a retractable shower door and this is um, this was invented so that it squeegees itself essentially but it also will snap back really fast if you don't if you're not careful <laughs> so we've got a porcelain potty here a little bit of storage down here next to it and of course the toilet paper holder a little bit of storage under your sink good size mirror here and then we have a nice medicine cabinet to put your things a hook <laughs> they do the w hooks for everybody So lastly, we'll look at the cab. We've, we've showed these many times. Uh, Mercedes did a overhaul a few years ago. So they have this really nice driving area now um, with this really big screen here. So on this screen, you can say, hey, Mercedes. And it will, it will ask you how it can help you. Now, the ways it can help you are navigate to such and such place, um, turn my radio down, uh, turn my air conditioning up, um, play uh, 97.3 KVCO, and it will do those things for you. So it has all of these great functions, um, as well as Sirius radio capability, Bluetoothing, um, etc. So this is a pretty smart vehicle. Um, the other things that this has in the cab are um, powered seats. So I don't know if you can see my finger down there. This is bringing me closer to the pedals. It also can lower the front of my seat, the back of my seat, all with these buttons here. I also have heated seats on both of these. Now this particular one has the upgraded Primera seats in the cab. Um, the standard is a black leather um, or leatherette excuse me um, it's just a preference thing this um, we optioned in so it would match the furniture in the back um, but if you don't want to have that extra option you can always choose it just the way it comes which is a really nice um, black leather seat um, still just as comfortable I just started the engine and it's very very quiet So what I will say about this, this is a 188 horsepower turbo diesel engine. These drive so good, so easily. I am extremely comfortable driving the Navions. Um, you have really great um, backup camera. Um, we have, there's your backup camera, just so you know. But you can see really clearly what's going on. You can actually change the view if you want a broader view. Um, but that's one of the greatest fears of owning a motorhome in general is, I don't know if I can drive it. I don't know if I could back it in. You can because of things like this. It's so much easier. You can do it by yourself without somebody back there coaching you. Um, in the old days, it was a walkie-talkie and your friend in the back with a walkie-talkie yelling, stop! <laughs> so it was a little bit more uh, intimidating than it has to be nowadays. Um, they make these very safe and easy to use. Um, I would love for you to come down and test drive one of these because really it is like driving an SUV, a really high-end luxury SUV. It's got lots of pickup. Um, you're not the last one trying to leave the stoplight. Um, just very, very nimble, easy to steer. Um, you feel safe and secure in this unit. Um, and I know because I drive all of these units. So this is one of my very favorites to drive. I feel confident and um, it's just a great, great space. Um, a couple more things in the cab besides all these creature comforts like 18 million cup holders. That was an exaggeration. But we do have a little bit of storage space here and on the passenger side, but we also have a charging port for your devices and it's grippy in there so you can put those in there and not worry about them flying around. But just another smart thing that they did to make this a better unit. Um, 
think that's about all I need to tell you. Um, again, if you need more specs or want to know more about this or want to drive it, I would love to have you come out or give me a call. I'd be happy to help you with any of those things. Um, my name is Teresa Crawley. I'm at 303-684-3427 or teresa.crawley at transwest.com. Please reach out. Sometimes I don't see the comments um, at, in a really uh, quick manner. So reaching out to me is the best way to get your information. So I'd love to hear from you. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks.